Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to rename the root user in Linux. I would not recommend doing this on a real system, as you're probably going to break something. I'm doing, this in, I'm doing this in a virtual box VM just to test it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open your terminal. And then I want to set the root password for, uh, this I want to set the root password. So I'm going to do the password root, put in my user password in. The root password is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to type that again. And it's updated. Alright. So now we're going to want to edit the um, etc uh, password file. So I'm going to do sudo nano etc. etc. Can't type etc password. And I'm going to change it to not root. I'm going to save and exit. And then I want to edit the etc uh, shadow file. I'm going to set it to not root again, and then save and exit, and then I'm going to, uh, let's see if, I want to see if sudo works. Uh, okay, it does work. Yes, sudo still works. I'm assuming it uses the, uh, UID instead of the actual name. So I'm going to do, uh, sudo su. And it actually doesn't that work. That's weird. I can still do su uh, not root uh, foot, foot, not root and then put it in the four and it's actually uh, not root now that's cool so um to show you it's actually the root user I'm gonna do a cd uh, tilde and it, uh, uh, this and it's, uh, it's in slash root and if I go to slash I can ma make it dir and I can uh, touch, if I can spell right, and it, um, it works. Now I'm going to try rebooting. I don't think this is going to work, but who knows. Is this going to reboot? Is it, is it stuck? Oh, okay. Alright, it's booting. And got to pet that screen, it's uh, no loading screen. I don't know if this is actually gonna work or not. Oh, oh, well, looks like it didn't like that. Is this gonna actually work? I think it's stuck here now. All right. What the? Here, I'm gonna send. Here, I'm gonna open my soft keyboard. I'm gonna do Control Alt uh, F3. What? Wait, that's not working either. Huh. That's weird. Well. I guess that's what happens when you rename the root user. So again, don't do this on your real system. It's going to break it, obviously. Uh, yeah, bye.